Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Abram. Delta's over there stalking me somewhere in the woods. I wanted to come to you and do a video about a little bit about my plans moving forward and I guess about how I'm living right now. Um, I've gotten a lot of questions from people so I thought I'd do a video and address some common questions and things and hopefully you find this useful. It's taken me a long time to get here and now that I'm finally here and comfortable, I'm tired. I don't know if any of you guys get that way, but it seems like for the month leading up to getting here and the month that I've been here, I've been doing a million things. I guess that's a little bit of a blessing and a curse. I am blessed enough to be retired from the Army fully, and I don't have to do anything if I don't want to, but I've got this land. <laughs> 80 acres almost and I've got so many things I need to do so I had to sit down and write a list today and um, these are the, some of the things that I've come up with and things that I need to get to um, not in any particular order I need to figure out my water situation I've got some people with a well commission coming up today well not today um, this week early sometime to um, do an inspection of the well and kind of see what's going on there, see if there's any way to um, do anything with that. Um, alternatives I've got, um, doing the ram pump, which I'd probably like to do even for my landscaping and such, down in the canyon where I'd pump the water up, or I could do a submersible um, pump in the springs. Watch out, wasp. So um, I'm looking at those things. I'm also, um, you know, I'm going to need to figure out, you know, what I got to do. And I think that's kind of going to be determined by a lot of the well people because once I get water up here, I'm going to need to store it and um, then I'm going to need to pressurize it. So I'll need to build a, a well pump house and everything. Um, that's one thing. I've gotten really into rain catchment being out here. So having this big roof here. Um, is going to be a good thing to catch a lot of water. I need to um, do a drip edge on my gutter and I need to do some rain catchment. Right now I'm looking at IBC totes. I found a place to get them really inexpensively and they're 275 gallons each and if I plumb them all together um, I can get a lot of water storage and I'm hoping that that would be really good for um, doing my doing my landscaping around here. I'm going to do um, this really cool flower planter, and I haven't moved anything along since I showed it to you last, but there it sits in front of me, and it'll be real pretty. I think I can get two loads of topsoil with my truck in addition to the compost that I made, and I already have a lot of the plants and flowers that I'm ready to plant, so I need to get to that. I need to clear the trees in that area because then I'll have a complete water view like I have here and it'll actually probably be better. So that's something that I don't know why I've procrastinated on that. It's a funny thing to say, right? Um, I can probably get it done in, in several hours and I probably won't have to use a climbing harness for most of it. So that's something I need to do. Maybe that's, maybe that's today. <laughs> I would like to build a table and, a ch and chairs to put here. Nothing fancy, but something a little bit nicer than a picnic table. So I'm thinking that might be one of the next things that I get to because then when I invite friends over, we can all sit outside and enjoy a meal on the table. I need to build a gate and some fencing up at the top of my property. The main thing holding me back on that is I'm gonna need to get a hold of a neighbor that has an auger on his tractor so I make sure I can get down deep enough for my fence posts. I would love to do a hoop greenhouse, a big walkthrough one with um, doors on the end, and that will be something that I need to get to. I'm planning to build a barn and a shop, and I'm not sure which one to build first. Part of me wants to build a, a shop so I have somewhere nice to keep my tools and somewhere to build and do an overhang and start um, cutting wood and drying it out on the overhang. But another part of me thinks, why don't I just build a barn first? It's going to be really nice having them right there. I wanted to do a barn there and behind it kind of have a, have a place where we could park or drive things through and in um, over by the boat. 
would be where the shop is. So I'm just trying to weigh out those options. Um, you know, I'm not sure that one's going to be a whole lot more costly than the other. Probably the barn, and the barn's going to be a pain because I've got that same auger type of situation. But I've already had the dirt work done, and it's it's reasonably level up there, and I've got some loads of dirt. So that'll be something that I need to get to. The other thing that I do plan to do is another terrace deck. So 12 feet long by about 16 feet would get me to the edge of that tree. And I'm planning on dropping it down about maybe about 14 inches. So one step and then have the deck down there. Um, that will get me closer to my goal of getting a terrace deck out there. One of the things that I'm thinking about doing on this next section is doing um, one by six on the top. So it would be a little easier to do and probably a little more inexpensive. One thing that I would really love to do, um, I used to say that I wanted a hot tub, but watching this dang YouTube, everybody's doing these stock tank pools. And I've seen these eight foot stock tank pools that are kind of cool. You can um, put a sand filter on them real easy and um, they have neat covers and everything. And I thought I had been planning to do a, a wood fired cedar tub but I think about how difficult that would be and how much um, how much effort I'd have to put into it. And I think about the stock tank and I think how cool it would be to have something like that so you can jump in and jump in and, and get wet and build a deck around it and make it look cool. And then um, have a have a thing where, you know, I'd pipe in, you know, like the um, the wood fired heat, how you can do um, the coil the copper coil i've seen it done where they kind of wrap it around um, an above ground or an in-ground fireplace and they have one inch copper coil and those things can get heated in about four hours from what i'm seeing online i'm kind of thinking that 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 might be really cool to do because um you know that would that would give me a like a little a little pool and a hot tub right down there so i'd have this whole crazy view and be able to relax and enjoy the enjoy the place a little bit more i also want to build a smoker because a cold smoker and a hot smoker because i loved smoked meat and i guess the problem with me is now that i'm here i'm really comfortable and i'm wondering if i should just build a few things and keep myself busy and you know keep up with the maintenance around here and um, just sort of whittle away at things or if I should try to tackle big projects. I know a lot of people watch my channel and they're doing... I don't need the drama. And they're, um, they're looking to do this for themselves. I know that sometimes people have smaller RVs and they have a bunch of kids. Shh! No, phooey. They have a bunch of kids and they're really in a rush to build a house. I'm kind of have the opposite situation. I live in a 33 foot fifth wheel that is super comfortable and spacious for me. It's just me. And I don't know how many square feet this thing is, maybe 330, 350. But you know, I've got, I've got a living room and I've got, I've got a table and I can entertain people. And I've got nice floors and I've got a nice bedroom and you know i've got a decent sized fridge and a lot of storage i'm comfortable you know um i'm not in a big rush the thing about my place i'm gonna have to take a lot of time cutting um, cutting wood and milling out lumber so i'm not in a big rush so part of me thinks why not make it a little bit more comfortable around here and not be in a rush just be okay with not being in a rush I look down at people on the lake all the time and I think, God, I have a boat. You know, I've got a neighbor that wants to go fishing and I love to fish. So maybe I should take time and enjoy life a little bit more. Um, the summer's already kind of gotten by and I've been doing a lot of work. So maybe I'm, I'm thinking about doing that. One thing I really need to do is treat these floors. I don't know if you saw the video where I burned them in. Um, I chose not to burn these guys in because they were still wet. That was an error that I made when I put this in. But after burning it in and having a bunch of traffic on it, you can see how the how the the wood burn kind of um, kind of goes away. So my plan soon, probably this week, is to um, reburn these, clean them, 
and then varnish them. I have um, I have some some sort of poly polyurethane or something that has some linseed oil or something mixed in that, that ought to do really well with these. It was really recommended. So that's something that I'm going to get to because I would like to get um, a full size refrigerator and put it out here since I'm going to have a table and kind of an entertaining area. I don't drink a lot of beer, but it seems like everybody else does. So, you know, I'd have a place to put some beer and I'd have extra storage um, for things. Um, like, you know, when you make a big salad, I can't fit anything in the in the refrigerator. And then having some extra freezer space would be really good. I don't want to do all that and have to move the refrigerator twice. So maybe I'll uh, I'll get working on that this week and square away a, a used refrigerator. One of the chores that I do around here is collect a bunch of rocks and fill in holes in my um, or low areas in my driveway. Since I have almost of a mile, um, it's developed all sorts of little potholes and things, and I've gotten a lot of them filled in with nice flat rocks and. It's ready to have some more gravel put over it and it won't rut out anymore. So that's one of those sort of never ending um, things that I've got going on here. I have taken a lot of time to do some maintenance on things that I deferred. Um, I've gotten my car up and running, my second one, and I've gotten a four wheeler with all the, all the maintenance done on it. So I've got another four wheeler that's an older one. I think maybe I'd like to get that squared away. And um, I've been maintaining my saws since I have three chainsaws. Um, those of you who um, haven't done maintenance on your chainsaws in a while, you'll know what I'm talking about. I just got them all squared away and, and my other tools, you know, cleaned off the rust and got everything all oiled up. I've been at this point in my life a lot. You know, it's, it's really important for a man to have a purpose and for him to do the best that God has given him. So I plan to maintain that. It's just one of those struggles that that I go through sometimes, and I'm sure most of you do too. Um, you get to a certain point, and you get comfortable, and um, and then it's nice to relax and smell the roses a little bit. I feel like I need to enjoy life, the the good life that the Lord's given me. This is the thing that she's been into lately. She brings me like a toothpick, and then. I throw it someplace where she won't find it, and then she goes sniffing around for it, and she always finds it. Such a good sniffer. She'll come back, see she's got it in her mouth. She'll crunch that one up. <laughs> she's bringing me little pieces of frisbee that she's chewed up lately, or a piece of a ball, and she wants me to throw a piece. And then she'll go hunting it for 30 minutes. It's so crazy. I'd love to do more videos and I'd love to do better videos and edit better. So I'm gonna be looking at trying to improve my skills there. And um, I'd like to talk about some of the things that you guys would like to see. So if you, um, if you have things that you wanna see or you wanna see more of, please leave a comment below. I heard a C-130 and I wanted to see if it's gonna make its pass through here. Looks like it's headed this way. They fly right up this canyon below my house and then come up this other canyon. Looks like these guys are coming right in. Sometimes they come from sometimes they come from the opposite direction and buzz through here. Must be some sort of training thing, but it's cool it takes me back hearing these C one thirties roaring through here all close. I know I'm a dork, but I've really gotten into bird watching. I finally got some birds at this feeder and this thing went empty today. I've had to refill my hummingbird one. They, they still haven't found, there's a feeder over there, they still haven't found that one yet. So I've really gotten into bird watching and just checking out all the wildlife that's over here. One of the things that we do for a lot of fun is we take a few four-wheeler rides every day. I think I probably put 100 miles a week on that four-wheeler. So that has been a big plus. We really do enjoy living out here. To me, there's really no downside. I got my first electric bill and it was 66 bucks, so that's legit. Um, I don't have to pay anything to live here, and um, that is amazing. I feel really blessed that um, I got all my canning done and um, canned back a bunch of tomatoes and green beans. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll see all those pictures. People have asked me if I feel like there are any downsides to living out here and what I find most difficult. I, I really 
have a hard time thinking about what's the most difficult. I guess that there's there's just always work to be done and you can't defer the work that needs to get done sometimes. You just gotta do it. Um, I guess the the drawback, not the drawback, but the um, the thing that goes with that is I'm getting in really good shape. You know, I mean, I'm starting to get muscles again and I'm nice and tan. So that's been, that's been really cool. Feeling like I'm working with my hands and I'm sore every single day. Um, I don't like it when, like I hurt my back, but that's just something that happens to me a couple times a year just based on past injuries. So um, in the grand scheme of things, that wasn't that big of a deal. One thing that's completely different is the quiet that you feel out here. Um, I don't have anybody around, so it's just me and the dog. So it's pretty quiet out here. Um, but that gives you the time to hear all the sounds and to to learn things, you know, because I've started to learn about all the different trees and the birds and which birds a male and which birds a female and you know just things like that. So that that's been that's been pretty cool. But I noticed that the further that I live away from people, um, the less time that I spend with them. I have a number of friends and we get together and hang out on a normal basis, but being completely alone and quiet is quite a bit different but i don't know if you can hear the birds in the background it's not like this is a bad view thanks for watching and i hope this was of interest to somebody and um, maybe this answered some of the people's questions that had sent me messages if you'd like to see me do this more, I don't understand why you would, because this seems boring, boring as anything to me. But if you want to see it more, I mean, you know, maybe I could do one of these from time to time. Um, one of the things that I would like to do is get her a camera. I know I talked about that earlier in the beginning. I've seen these GoPro cameras where they fit on her um, on her back and go up in between her ears. I think it would be cool to get her perspective as a funny thing on some of these shots that I that I make. She's always doing the funniest stuff. Sometimes I question the idea about getting more shepherds. I'd like to get a male black Czech shepherd when I can afford it and breed her and I'd have the um, she'd have the beautifulest puppies. I don't know if she'd be a good mom. She's so focused on me, but I kind of think she would be. Anyway, I'm thinking about what would it be like if you had four shepherds that were so in tune to you, they were always doing this, just staring at you. I might feel like I was being stalked. God bless you. I hope you're doing well. I um, hope you're doing interesting and fun things during this weird time that we've got going on and I hope that everybody's safe. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.